First of all, why was the pardon granted at this time? Well, according to President Moon Jae-in, it's about national unity. Uh, Park Geun-hye, a very divisive figure in this country, of course. Uh, millions of people turned out back in uh, 2017 calling for her impeachment, which eventually happened. But of course, she has very, very vocal supporters as well uh, who have turned out for counter demonstrations. Uh, so it, it's about attempting to heal that rift. Others would say it might be a little bit of electioneering ahead of the, uh, the uh, election in May. But uh, also being cited is her health condition. She has been in for shoulder surgery since being in prison. She's been hospitalized three times. She does, uh, from what we're told, suffer from acute back pain. And uh, certainly from the photos we've seen of her, she does seem a greatly diminished figure than the, uh, when we saw her as a president of South Korea. Here, of course, she is an enormous figure. Her father uh, ruled with an iron fist uh, back in the 1970s and a uh, very controversial figure, uh, you know, an authoritarian dictator, but also the man credited with starting the economic miracle that is sort of today South Korea's great economy. Indeed. Uh, she, he was killed by his own head of security. You know, she witnessed her mother's assassination and she managed to forge her way to the presidency only to be brought down through this impeachment trial. So, you know, this is a big event for South Korea and has taken many people by surprise because President Moon said again and again that he wouldn't do this. Right. And uh, Jack, you've been uh, monitoring events in South Korea for a lot of years now. How does the pardon of uh, the former president affect the political situation in a country? Yeah, I think it's going to take people a little while to absorb this. As I just mentioned, nobody expected Moon to do this. And I've spoken to a few analysts this morning and they say they were taken completely by surprise uh, that this is going to happen. We now know we've heard, you know, in the last hour that she will be released on New Year's Eve. Uh, we can expect a large number of her supporters down there to have essentially a big party, but we might expect a big counter demonstration down there uh, who will oppose it. And many of them will be from President Moon's own party. So it's hard to see how this is going to play out. Uh, it could solidify the, the right wing opposition ahead of the uh, upcoming election in May. It could sow further division. That's probably something President Moon is hoping for. Uh, but, you know, it, it's really, this is going to be all in the news today, whether this is going to galvanize the right, whether this is going to sow discord, whether this will lead to more protests uh, from supporters of Moon's, old party, Moon's own party who don't want to see her released from prison. And there's many people who have said already that they don't want to see that. So, yeah, this is going to be probably one of President Moon's most controversial decisions. And we're going to have to wait for a few days to really see how this plays out in South Korea. But there's no doubt it is going to cause a lot of deba debate. It is going to cause a lot of division. And it might not have the aim of forging more national unity, which was, of course, President Moon Jae-in's main aim in granting this pardon.